Hi, preschool friends, it's Miss Shelley, and we are gonna read a story called Waiting for Wings. In this story, we are going to hear words like butterfly, case, caterpillars, change, hatch, and nectar. Here we go, Waiting for Wings. The author and the illustrator are the same person in this story, and that is Louise Aylhart. Waiting for Wings. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view. The eggs are hidden. Clinging to leaves, with butterfly glue. Soon caterpillars hatch. They creep and chew. Each one knows what it must do. There they are coming out. Find a place where winds don't blow. There's one right here, there's one here, and here. Then make a case in which to grow. There's a case right here, a case right here that the butterfly made, a case here. Caterpillar changes now begin. So when they're inside their case, they are starting to change. Body and wings take shape within. When it's time, each case is torn. So look at him right here. He tore his case and right here, and he's popping out. He's coming out of it, or she. Wings unfold, new butterflies are born. So the caterpillars, the changes they made inside the case, were turning them into these beautiful butterflies. They pump their wings, get ready to fly. Then hungry butterflies head for the sky, looking for flowers with nectar to eat. So inside the flower, there's nectar, and that's what they eat. They catch a whiff of something sweet. They follow that fragrant scent of perfume until they find our garden in bloom. So look, they found their garden in bloom. The flowers are bloomed. We've been waiting for wings. We watch them circle and land on their feet. Unroll their tongues and begin to eat. So you see that their tongue is out and they are eating the nectar from the middle of the flower. They dip and sip. then fly away back home to the fields. They have eggs to lay. So they've gotten their nectar and now they're going back to where they were because it wasn't very windy there to lay some eggs. B N. What? do caterpillars do before they change into butterflies? What do they make? What, did, what was that called in the story? And why do butterflies look for flowers? What do they get from the flowers? And have you ever seen a butterfly? How about you draw a picture of the butterfly that you saw and share it with your teacher? We'll see you later.